and welcome my fellow scouts to a 5e3 siege battle replay today at Kandum. Today's replay is by Mac. Now I've actually paused it because we've got a little bit of a battle unfolding already. Some artillery fire coming in. The tankers, for the most part, three of them appear to be moving up towards the gate already. Now if you guys want to see your own Dota GT4 replay featured here on this channel, or any other Total War replay for that matter, you can send them to my email at scoutsofentertainment at gmail.com. You can send them to me directly on the Discord using my Discord ID via direct message. Or you can join my Discord server Scouts Reconnaissance, where you can post all manner of total replays into the Battle Replay sub-channel you'll find on the Discord. Or you can tag me in any 3rd Age Reforged replay post on the 3rd Age Discord as well. I also have various funding options available if I support my work, including YouTube membership options being available. But if you want to help out with the YouTube algorithm, don't forget to leave a like on this video, subscribe of course if you haven't already, tick that bell for notifications so you never miss a fight, leave your own thoughts about this battle, in the comment section below. And with that, let's get underway today. So, starting with Max Army here, who's commanding Umbar. His general here is in the Citadel, with some harbingers of Casimir. The rest of his army is on the left side of Karandum, it would seem. So let's head down there now. We've got some Casimir's Rangers here. We've got some Naru and our Royal Guard. Corsair Crossbowmen. We've also got some more Corsair Fences. A Corandas Legion. Belega Footman here. Another unit of harbingers of Casimir, so two now. Don't see that every day. Corsair Infantry again. Got some Balaga Pikemen, two units there. More Corsair Infantry. Warlords of Umba, Corsair Crossbows. More Corsair Infantry. Balaga Footmen, Corsair Blackguards, Balaga Axe Guard here. Two units, but this one belongs to Fire Captain Les McBurney. So Fire Captain here, also an Umba army. Might have three Umba armies here today. Some Balaga Axe Guard here. Corsair Blackguards, two units there. Harmage is Casimir, a Dunim Shield Guard. Let's just go back here and make sure I wasn't seeing things here. And they did bring two harbors of Casimir. He did. Okay. We got here some Adunium Shield Guard. We got some Belaga Shield Bearers. There's harbors, of course, for fire. We got some Belaga Pikemen. Uh, some Belaga Archers. And some Belaga Shield Bearers up top. Some Corsair Fences over there. Some Casimir's Rangers. Corsair Crossbows. Narrow and Arrow Sentinels and more Crossbows, Fences, Shield Guard, and a Trebuchet. He's just firing, as I mentioned earlier. Got some Dune Shield Guard over here. Harbors is Casimir here from Fire Captain. Again. So that's four now. Got some Corsair Black Guards over here. Black of Axe Guard. Some Numenorean Cohort here from Modexa, who's gone the only Numenorean army here. We got some Cohort, as I said. Seafarers of Ninomos. Black of Pikemen. Seafarers of Ninomos again. Paris and Swordmasters. Numenorean Shield Guard. Two units there. Black of Archers. Black of Footmen. More Archers. More Seafarers. Black of Pikemen. Shield Guard, Naru Naru Wall Guard, Phasm Swordmasters, Sentinels, and Numenorean Cohort. I think maybe one or two units of them. I'm thinking maybe two. And uh, that's it, uh, it, I see. Could have some Adunium Shadowbows around here somewhere, but we'll find that out later. Alright, moving on to the first of five attacking armies today. We have Dol Amroth, commanded by Jordan. We've got some Blackstone Renegades here, two units. Two units of Dismounted Knights of the Silver Swan. Belfast Marines here, two units. We've got some Edhelm men arms here armored up. And some Haven Guard mixed in there as well. We've got some Tonostian Spearmen there, two units. Two units of Peridol Champions. Three units of Edhelm Halberdiers. And two units of Donnell Pikemen. Pikemen here are armored up. Okay, our second attacker. All the way over here is another Dol Amroth army, commanded by GOC Umad Coolmander. we got some Tonostian Spearmen here. Some Ed Helmet Arms, two units there, and some Dornell Swordsman, Light Melee Troop. Dornell Archers here, not armored up, I don't think. Tonostian Swimming there, Belfast Marines, Catapult, more Men at Arms, Blackstone Renegades, and some Predal Champions, more Haven Guard, Ed Helmet, as Ed Helmet Halberdiers, sorry, two units there. Haven Knights and Marines, we didn't say so earlier. Dornell Swordsman, and some Dornell Archers over there. Okie dokie. Third attacker today. Uh, this could be an old Dol Amroth affair here. I thought he told me. Yeah, he did. We got some tier down marksmen here belonging to this guy, Fuchs. He's got two units there. Some Tonestine Spearmen. Ed Helmet Arms. And more Tonestine Spearmen there, two units. We got here Ed Helmet Arms. These guys here don't appear to be armored up at all. Now we got four units here, the basic models. These guys here will go down pretty quickly in combat. We got here some Baxter Renegades. I think two units there. Some Dismounted Knights of the Silver Swan, and some Haven Guard. More Haven Knights, and I think two units of Donnell Pikemen armored up these guys, however. Alright. 
You're going to see similar armies across all the Lamoroth players, so feel free to go sip the battle start if you're bored. We have some Imperial Champions here, two units, some Haven Guard. This man of Knights of the Silver Swan, two units, and some Edhel Men at Arms here, two units armored. Two units of Blacks and Renegades, two units of Belfast Marines. Some Edhel Men at Arms, Knights of the Silver Swan, and some more Edhel Men at Arms. It's strange that Dome brought so much Cav, considering we're at Karandum, and there's not really a lot of space or possible chances for them to use their Cav effectively inside this fortress. I mean, we know that the defenders have one unit of Warlords of Umbar, but those guys there, once they're gone, there's pretty much nothing more the Cav can really do. We've got here some Edhel Men at Arms, two units there. And our final Dynamod player is KatatiHellCase.org. So Katati here, two units of Belfast Marines. Tear it down Marksman. We got some two units of Edhel and Halberdiers and two units of Blacks and Renegades and Parallel Champions. Haven Guard, two units of Dismounted Knights. One unit there, Parallel Champions. Edhel Men at Arms. One, two, three, four, five units there. And that's all I see there for them. So we might see some Wanderers on the model later on because they can't hide. But for now, Let's get this battle started, everyone. Enjoy. So this guy's going in, as I said. Sea Tower's moving up. Attack is largely putting their Sea Towers in front of their armies for protection against these arrow tails. You'd be surprised how many kills those arrow tails can actually rack up if you let them. Yeah, well, we already knew that. The enemy siege tower has reached our walls. Let courage and skill at arms. No, I don't think Coolmander will go in without his ally showing up first. So, we will lays off from that engagement. All right, we have some juicy shots there from the trebuchet. Just curving around the siege tower there. That's a tight shot. I only killed some Edhel men at arms, so it missed the main blob. So, very fortunate there for Katati. Siege tower there blocking the other two. That person probably needs to stop firing the trebuchet, they're not getting any hits. It also looked like Mac had left his Corsair infantry on auto fire. And they've already. Have they already used up all their ammunition? Yep, they have. They were shooting lob shots over the walls there. Same goes for this unit as well. The enemy siege tower has reached our walls. Let courage and skill at arms. He started fighting way. already. The walls are no longer ours. Okay, he's trying to get some shots here off the Belfast Marines. And they've been stopped. Modex are putting his Royal Legion on the front lines. Not a good idea. It always seems like a good idea selling out a little bit, because you know the forces here, you know, aren't that great. But what do you do when you're locked in combat and the reinforcements come from the attackers? What do you do then? You're caught outside. They can bring up their Belfast Marines. They got all, all the units to spare. They can destroy all the units they send out here, Royal Legion included. So it's not really a good idea to sell you out in most cases. Very few times it's a good idea that it, and actually it works. So if you're going to do it, try and be as confident as you can of victory. Alrighty, so Twister is the first one inside the fortress today. Going up against Harbingers of Casimir. These guys are armored up, however, they should do okay. Even against the Harbingers of Casimir, they'll of course lose. But they'll last a while and they'll tie these guys out quite a bit before they manage to finish them off and break them. What probably should have happened there is the Corsair infantry should have taken the lead and then backed up by the Harvesters of Casimir. That probably would have been more preferable. But, you know, as it, then again, Mark does have another unit of these guys in reserve, so that's why he's being a bit forward with this one, it would seem. 
Is it just me, or is that Sage Tower moving a little bit to the left? My eyes could be deceiving me, but I swear that thing shifted a little bit to the left on its own. What we got here? We've got Corsair crossbows firing in, trying to take out some of the Balfast Marines. Well, I've taken out a couple of them. Not a bad return volley there. We've got some men at arms here armored up, others not armored up. It's strange, both those units belong to Kletati, he must have run out of money to arm up or hit all these men. It is 1%, 2-3%. Very early days. Okay, he's trying the same thing, but on the other side, so let's see how long it takes for Mac to react to it. Of course, the crossbow should be able to still fire into him. Warlords of Umbar moving up, so Mac is aware of it. Okay, they killed a small amount. We've got Haven Guard, yeah, when the Haven Guard comes in, it's time to pull out. Unless you can get a charge on the Haven Guard, you shouldn't go toe to toe in melee with cavalry. Alright, we got McFire Captain here who has sallied out. He obviously can't hear my warning. He's very fortunate that the enemy hasn't brought up any Belfast Marines on this side as of yet. And the Harvesters here can use the shields mostly from the Union Shield Guard. So, if we're using metaphors here, shield guard is a shield, harbingers the sword. Now, he needs to send up the Balaga Pikemen or Narrow Narrow Sentinels here, just to sort of go toe to toe and provide some support against the Doranella Pikemen there. Because we should start to see Umba suffer against, suffer against that. He's stolen Ross Kingdom from a good artillery strike, eh? To get one shot in the center of this mass would be worth it. The severe danger, of course, is hitting his own allies' men, but he has a chance there to take out a lot of elites. He just needs one good shot. The downside here for Umba is he has no missile support, none. And even if he had crossbows on the walls there, or archers even, the odds of him getting a good angle on the enemy troops down below to support these guys is um, slim to none. The ranks of the Union Shield Guard are looking a little bit thin there. What's mainly left is the Harbingers. Come on, the window to pull out maybe is closing. Harbingers being surrounded, that's not good. Commander thinking about going in. He needs to take the walls first before he puts the marines on there. These guys are going to be shot to hell. Seafarer is waiting for him. The little guard standing by. Belagrant is of course ready to shoot the enemy the moment they come through the gate. Which appears to be now. So hopefully Modex is paying attention. Now it's time to start firing. 
No, no, too soon. Don't send the shield gate in just yet. Yeah, that's right. Hold back. He's not getting those archers firing. I thought he'd be getting those archers going. He's sending in the Pharisee and Swordmasters. Okay, now he's firing. But the spearmen are coming straight for him. See, Ferris should probably target these guys. They probably still should target these guys. Okay, it is 4 to 9 percent. But Dexa, for the most part, instead of trying to encircle and break these guys quickly, seems to be almost ignoring them. And allowing them to charge into the backs of his Royal Legion and Numenorean Shield Guard, which is an odd move, actually, Medexa. Surprised you did that. Now, yeah, great fire there from the Doom Shadow Bows. Potentially getting some shots on the Belfast Marines. Yeah, I think he is. I'm sure, those arrows are going underneath the gate. You're not really racking it up here. Yes, what is he doing? Shadow by fire. Are they fire? No, they're not. He's up top. Not bad. Arts is firing into the backs of these guys, so he is dealing with it. Which is good. Seafarers, are they going to fire in the blob? Yep, they are. Trying to take out the halberdiers. Cornada has staked a big claim on this attack. His perimeter is a little bit thin, but it's holding. Just. Belfast Marines trying to return fire. Right, let's check out the other sides here. How's fire's Captain Harbors is going? They are doing very well. Only lost one soldier since we last saw them, which is amazing, actually. How is that even possible? Because it's, a, it's, another, <laughs> it's another unit entirely. Okay, the original unit is down to 28. That, that, that seemed way too good to be true. Harbors are not that good. But still, Fire Captain is committing the fatal sin and not setting up his own pike unit to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Dronella pikemen. He's got some troops in their ranks trying to try to kill those Dronella pikemen, but he's taking a lot of damage. And Fire Captain here has a fortress to use. He's got he's got cover to use, but he's just not using it. And right now we've got Dilemoth here launching a major assault on Mac's side. Mac having a lot of trouble actually containing him up here. Back of Axe here trying to cut off the Black Swan as they charge through. We've got the Corsair crossbows. That warlord here should be sprung into action to try and intercept and take down the Black Renegades. Trebuchets coming at a valuable time. Triggering a mass chain around here from Dolan Rock, it would seem. And those crossbows there. Getting a lot of kills on the walls. Katati here can actually get off these walls, and he should. He needs to get his troops down below. Try and target the Belaga Pikeman, or charge forth and try and intercept the Corsair crossbows, stop them from firing. To assist their attack as they move up. Right now, Mac is holding Twister in place and Klitati, buying him, buying his missiles some time to do some valuable work. And thin the Dol Amroth herd. Harmage is up top, sandwiched against Corsair infantry as well. Also, fences might be out of ammunition. OK, 
Okay. This man has Swan Knights. Battling away for the center. It's a sea of Dolamroth dead. Of course, the infantry won't last too long, but they'll last long enough. We might actually even win. But like a pikeman here should be brought in from both sides right now. Catching Dolomarth in a pincer move. That should actually help eliminate all the attacking forces coming through the gate at the moment. And you send the black belt of Axe Guard in for good measure. Unless they want their crossbows to continue to fire in. Quite possible. Twenty-three to forty-two percent so far. And we've got Corsair Blackguards firing the Javis up here. As you can see, that's pretty effective. Most of those Javis scoring direct hits. Fire mission has broken one unit of Dolan Roth Man at Arms. This other unit might not be too far off. going up here. Okay, Haven Guard moving forward. Not doing too bad. Dolomath once again able to surround Umba. The Pikemen really helping the Dolomroth army move forward here in the center. And with most of Fire Captain's elites probably gone at this point, or will be gone shortly, he's the one defender that's probably the most vulnerable to the attackers right now. We're having that pushing their way forward. The Parkman really helping the Dolomroth move forward here. And help maintain this momentum, I reckon. Tonosby and Smyrna also aiding that effort. Okay, how's Numenor going over here? That fire is from the Doom Shadow Bows. They are firing again. Oh, is it from... It's got to be from the Doom Shadow Bows, I thought. Wow. Are they firing from up there? Caspi's Rangers are firing, not the Doom Shadow Bows. Okie doke. So they can fire from up there. I don't think we've seen that before. Angle's pretty good, all things considered. Only half the enemy force remains. Decent angle, getting multiple hits on every unit that comes through there. I can't tell though if the Royal Legion is dead or not. I don't see him here in battle anymore. Which means they're either up top or withdrawn. Or dead. One of the two. Thirty-eight to fifty-five. So, attackers gaining a slight edge or clawing their way back into this. It was looking a little bit dire for them before. Okay, so is that Seafarers or is it Royal Guard? It's Royal Guard. Alright, he's positioned those forces there because his right flank is looking very thin here. And if he's got ammunition, he's probably thinking, I can fire into the enemy from here. So we might see them shoot shortly, if they can shoot. Yeah, it looks like here the Seafarers took multiple casualties. 
I don't know if it's due to the Belfast rains on the walls here or not. But they might try and come down behind the army there. Sentinels and another unit of Phasm Soulmasters standing by. Seafarers though, on the other side firing in. They might be out of ammunition. They've got their axes out, so it looks that way. Okay, Royal Guard is now firing in. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. Okay, now our sentinel's being moved up. Now Dexter trying to contain his enemy. That fire there. Who's that coming from? No Cassius Rangers up top. Or not. The Doom Shadow Bows over there. Looks like they might be the ones firing in. Good hit. Too high. But, you know, don't give up. Belfast Rangers there. Good fire on the narrow, narrow Sentinels. Here we go. Glamrock's best chance of breaking through the defense is right here, right now. Another good hit. Missing the main assault though. That's the best outcome from Glamrock. Scoring a hit wise, best outcome of course is the trebuchet missing, but you know, if it's going to hit, hitting the edges is better than hitting the dead center. Okay, throwing rotten meat there, so it could be out of ammunition. Haven Knight moving up, trying to be intercepted by the Naru and our Royal Guard. No, Dexter doesn't want to give up this area yet. Haven Guard somehow finding their way around the Royal Guard here. He's got to kill a couple of troops, so rotting meat shot. Rotting meat can kill, but it needs to score a direct hit to do so. Phasm Swordmaster's trying to kill the Haven Knights. That's my Dexter's general right there. Of course, the Black Guard's got javelins. Did he send two units over? He did. How are we going over here? Fire Captain is sending over some reinforcements. And the Lamroth over here has either destroyed all the defending forces or he withdrew. Looks like they were destroyed. They've got four outside there. Okay. Can Fire Captain fire in time? Don't think so. But he's going to go for the Dynamore troops instead. Warlords here coming to the rescue. And try and chase down the Haven Knights. And those warlords there have their work cut out for them. They've got lots of cavalry to try and run down. But the defenders' task there breaking that unit isn't too hard. They're deep inside enemy territory, they don't have any support. If somehow Umba or Numenor can surround them, these guys here will break pretty easily in this area. Kessie's Rangers, are, they gotta fall back. Shield Bearers probably gonna move up to protect them. Kessie's Rangers should fall back to the trebuchet. But um, 
I don't know. No one's telling Fire Captain to bug out. They're having munitions, so it's not the worst in the world there to lose them. But, you know, probably shouldn't let um, Delemore just move in and kill his troops so easily. Okay, Delemore still... Still trying to break through. Fenner's just holding on. Of course, the back guard's struggling to find a target, it would seem. They were firing before, but maybe they're out of ammunition. No, according to that, they're not. The black guards here. Anti-men arms charging forth, right into course their fences and narrow narrow sentinels. But Bellic a pikeman either side. This guy's gonna lose those troops quickly. Alright, Twister's forces here pretty exposed. Royal Guard firing in. Maybe he's out of course their crossbows. Force this is a weird formation for the Belga footman. That's a bit better. Yeah, that looking pretty solid here. Bagarats is targeting the Baxter Renegades up top on the wall there. Bounce of power moving in favour of the defenders, but it's 11%. It's the closest it's been in a while, actually. Bounce of forces appear evenly matched. So, despite the multiple victories we see the defenders achieving, the attackers still are coming at them. According to the bar, it says they can still win. Only half the enemy force remains. Yeah, of course, the main reason the defense will be struggling at this point is because they're mostly out of ammunition, probably. Is going to be my assessment. Belfast range firing in. I'll probably fire into the Belaga Pikes myself if he can. Right now it looks like he's firing into the Corsair Infantry of all things, which is not the best target to go after. Belaga Pike would be the better target, and they're right before them. Maybe he tried and he can't, so if he if he can if he couldn't, then I apologize. Got some Haven Guard outside the walls. Don't know if that's a full unit or not. Yeah it is. Harbinger's Cassidy moving up. Belfast Range couldn't be firing at them. We've got another unit of Haven Guard from Twister. Could be, going, could be trying to go down over here. I don't know if they can do that. Looks like they could. We'll find out soon enough. Oh, you know, Haven Guard's over here. Nothing else is over here. So without reinforcements or more firepower, it's um, not looking too great here for Mac. The Royal Guard should be targeting this flank right here, Blacks and Renegades and Edholm and Arms. I mean, these guys right before them, and they're now firing at them, I think. Yeah. Black of Hiking seem to be surrounded by Tonosti and Spearman somehow. Maybe they forced their way through them. We've got Corsair crossbows here. Looks to be firing. Or well, at least one unit is firing. Yeah, 
and marks in here falling pretty quickly. My lord, we have lost control of the city. If the course defenses can fire on the Haven Guard, they probably should. Of course, their crossbows can be moved a little bit to the right there, so they can fire on the Dilemma forces here. Let's see the Dilemma General here. Where the hell's the rest of the Haven Knight unit? There it is. We've got the enemy shield guard standing at the rear of the Corsair black guard. They have a nice charging forth into the backs here of the Pharaohs and Swordmasters and wiping most of them out. They're down to 27. And they have one catapult left. Yeah, they do. I wonder what happened to the other ones. Destroyed there, destroyed there. Odd. I wonder what killed it. It'd be half of the trebuchet to get kills there on those catapults. Lords of the Hare seem to have sustained a lot of casualties in their quest to chase down the Haven Knights. It is 81 to 87. These Corsair crossbows, gotta be careful. These crossbows here, out of ammunition. Corsair fences, trying to fire, it would seem. 83 to 87. Fire Captain needs to win this fight. Okay, Valley Park in there routing. Shield guard struggling. Our foolish general has thrown his life away. And okay, Mac just lost his general. Most of Mac's forces here have been defeated and destroyed. With the exception of a handful of Casimir's. Harbages of Casimir, which... Were they down to three? Or, no, they're down to nine. That makes more sense. Not the best charges there. These troops here, they're all broken. Megan Dex has 22 Ferris and Stormmasters over here. Crowley should bring them down to his ally, Fire Captain. This will be make or break here for the defenders. So, this is where they should fight. Where the shield bearers off to? No, looks like they're pursuing. Yeah, they are pursuing. Fire Captain's got to pull them back. I feel like a park they've got to be turned around. Belfast Marines firing into the backs of the fences. Come on, Fire Captain, get your troops moving. I 
Okay, it looks like he's pulling back. But he's left some he's left two units out here. He's pulling back, why is he doing that? Okay, they're through the Royal Guard. Our noble brothers have lost their leader. Without their general, they may lose heart and flee. There's Max Royal Guard. That was silly. He shouldn't have done that. See, we've got forces over here, and Umba is abandoning the rest of their reinforcements coming in from the gate all well, the rest of their troops they probably should have chose to fight here all these troops here they're both broken they're both done Heaven Knights, they come back in. Let's try and get those cycle charges in. Oh, bad charge there. Fire Captain getting very lucky. See, one can kill eight. Down to two. We've got course events is trying to throw daggers into the backs of their enemies. Marines trying to fire their javelins into the backs of the course fences. Who can kill who faster? Praise to our Lord. Our men have slain the enemy general. That's one. His men will lose heart. The Phrasium Swordmasters down here. 97, 98 to 91. It looked dire for the Lamroth the whole time. Yet they somehow pulled off a victory, so congratulations to them, I reckon. Maybe in their desperation to hold back the Dol Amroth onslaught, they used too much ammunition too quickly. And the defense seemed to start to fall apart when it became clear they had run out of ammunition, all three players, really. Our allies general lies dead, slain by the enemy. We must help his men avenge him, lest they lose a heart. And flee. This is our last battle here, so we'll times two speed it. I pray the course of this battle changes because defeat seems almost certain. Yeah, we've got our last stand here. Medexa probably admitted defeat. Snatched victory from us like thieves in the night. They will not be so lucky next time. Mm. And that's it. So, well done to the Dolemroth Alliance here today. Twister, 1,141. This guy, Fuchs, A40. Or go Q-Mad Coolmander, 1,063. 
Joran, 1136. org 927. Mac here, 2349. Fire Captain, 2112. Odexa, 1776. Okay, kill counts here. Harvester cast me here. One unit getting 76. The other one, 277. It's clear the other unit here that when you got 277 was on we saw on the walls, I reckon. Taking a lot of the Ed Helen men at arms. Corsair crossbows here, 140, 199. Pretty good. Blackguard here didn't do it as well, 104. Cassius Rangers here, 129. Corsair fences, 124. And Belicate Axe Guard here, 162. Fire Captain Les McBurney. His Cassius Rangers, 306. Crossbows, 167 to 115. Corsair Blackguards here, range from 48 to 179, so one unit really struggled there. Belega Parkman 64 to 143. Harbages Casimir 203 to 276, so he did pretty well there. And that is that. So thank you to Mac for sending me the replay. If you want to see your own replay feature here on this channel, once again, guys, you can send them to my email at scoutsentertainment at gmail.com. You can send them to me directly on the Discord via my Discord ID, direct message. Or you can join my Discord server Scouts Reconnaissance, where you can post all manner of Total War replays into the Battery Replay sub-channel you'll find there on the Discord. Or you can post the Reforged replays on the Reforged Discord itself, and just tag me in it as well. This is Mika, on behalf of Scouts of Entertainment signing off, goodbye my fellow Scouts, catch you in the next Total War battle.